Hello everyone, happy July. I hope the start was good for you all. Friday, July 5th, 2024, the high peak is in the early afternoon. Okay, let's say that. Uh, 3.57 p.m. Pacific time. But like I always say, anyone, anywhere in the world can benefit from this reading. Also, check your transit chart where you match up your birth chart with today's date and or you know the date of the new moon and you can see where the moon lands in alignment with your birth chart that gives you another special meaning look at the house it's in um look at different planetary alignments and it's that's why it's good to look ahead and see that and um yeah and use the alignments to meditate to either clear out something but it's a new moon, so you want to bring in positivity, right? So good vibes, right? <laughs> the degree is 14 degrees, 23 minutes. So a good 30 minutes meditation or energy work will be great. I like to use it like that. And for the Cancer Zodiac sign, it's good to be gentle. whenever, Whatever day of the week it is, um, and the moon is in that sign for that day, you want to be gentle with that part of the body. So in astrology, each of the signs are assigned a body part or on different body systems. So we have the stomach, um, we have uh, the womb, uh, the female body part, um, and so on. Okay, I keep forgetting to mention my Patreon, so please check that out for workshops for you know, more in-depth readings, because you never know what you can and can't say. It's so weird. I just wish it wasn't like that, <laughs> but I love YouTube, so there you go. Uh, so um, just be gentle to the stomach, you know, and the new moon. You know, be mindful of what, what you intake, you know, uh, the stomach is our second brain. So mentally what you intake and also your digestive uh, system, what you eat, just eating um, that works best for you. Okay. And how, you know, you know how your tummy is. <laughs> so for this moon, I felt like the message is making it happen and looking at the chart and focusing on the message that naturally comes to me is how I do it. So it's like the eighth house, right? The sun and the moon is in the eighth house. Happy birthday to all the Cancerian signs. Hope all is well. And this is Scorpio's house energy. So Scorpio deals with um, very psychic intuitive. They deal with death, rebirth. So um, sex, uh, letting go, other people's money. They're good at making money with others. Um, also inheriting things from others. Sharing, okay? Um, just, just having that flowing energy a lot of people want free free all the time from people and especially when you're in the the um wellness right and i feel like they were that way with when when uh psychology first started too you know people just want oh they want to use your time and not realizing that everything flows i saw you know it's been said before you know even in nature things flow right so there's a give and take balance. So Scorpio reminds you of that. So if you have a really good Scorpio friend that will, you know, they could be Scorpio rising, Scorpio moon, they'll remind you that, hey, that person has been very draining and that's not cool. So with this new moon, focus on what you can make happen. Okay. It has that eighth house energy. It is a fellow water sign with Scorpio. So it's a cancer moon new moon so it is about self-love taking care of yourself even if you're feeling hurt by something or saddened by something you're still strong you have a strong outer personality but still heal yourself within okay that is so important the home parents feeling secure at home where you come from just nurturing yourself your private life that's going to be the strong aspect of this moon it's a big world not everyone's going to experience the same thing things on the full moon or the new moon there's different aspects there's different things happening energies moving but you might hear of someone experiencing this that or the other okay we're all connected in some form all right protecting our energy but we're still all flowing right so 
uh, we're on this rock earth flowing around here. Okay, so um, eighth house energy in new moon in cancer. So set your intention. Maybe one of your intention could be self healing, whatever that form is for you. A new start in um, what you invest your time in. So what are you investing your time in? Have a new start with that. Restart a goal. Uh, start a new goal, a new way of doing things. This is a great time to set that going. Communicate with conviction. Believe in yourself. That's Those are my notes for this, you know. Like believing in yourself. Um, just, just that knowing. Don't ask on matters that you feel confident about. Don't second guess yourself. Give yourself that time to meditate. If you know what's best for you, go for that. Okay, you're, we're making things happen. Mercury sextiles Jupiter. So this is a, can be used as um, a real balancing harmony, bringing harmony into your life. This is at 3 degrees 34 minutes. So you can meditate for like 40 minutes on, on let's see. Meditate, how are you going to use it? You're going to use it to exchange energies. I was just talking about that. Yeah. So make sure that you're, you're, you're receiving as much as you're giving, as you're creating your product, your product productivity. So use it as a way to really receive as, as you give. Yeah. And it's a, it's a very much a Venus nature. So you're not forcing anything. You're just flowing, create it from, from you, from within and let it flow. All right. Um, be creative on getting your goals done. You know, get things moving and also the results will come, okay? Mercury is all about communication. Um, some things you might want to attack with a Leo energy to be more bold and head for that success that you want for your summer, okay? We can break up our goals into seasonal goals just to break things up, you know, one step at a time. Break it up in sections to get to where you want. A lot of the energy for this um, moon is going to be around finances, um, understanding things on a higher level to succeed or change your status if that's where you, you want to use the energy and go, right? So there's little nuggets here for everyone that, you know, can that way they can benefit. All right, so let's get into all the 12 zodiac reading. It's again cancer season, sun and moon in cancer. Okay. Also, Venus is in cancer. Tap into that cancer. Okay. Make things happen. Make things flow to you. Yes, yes, and yes. All right. Now, even though um, Mercury is close to you, uh, Leo has that. Okay. So I'm going to move around the chart the opposite way. Now I'm going to go to Jemmy. Okay. Actually, no. Um, I'm going to go to. Uh, Leo. So for Leos, you have Mercury. Use that to communicate to get to where you want to go. If things don't work, shake it off, move forward. That's your power. All right. Yes, yes. And yes, you are in Sagittarius house. So you're just like moving along. You know, if something works, it works. If it doesn't work, Leo, okay, move along next. All right. Um, Virgo, you have to focus on yourself, what's best for you, and a lot of attention may be on you, but just focus on you and make things work best for you, all right? Libra, this is a great time for you to, again, do what works, and do what works, and focus on what you want, and keep your mind positive, and go towards that. That's going to help you this new moon. Give yourself some self-love. I think everyone that's a message for everyone. Scorpio, definitely give yourself some self-love. Definitely um, have a summer practice of like meditating before you go to bed. It's positive affirmations and manage your money while you have fortune. So definitely manage anything financial with the best ability possible. Sagittarius, definitely focus on self-healing yourself, doing what is right for you because when you do that, it balances out any um, issues with, with possessions that you may have. Um, maybe you have to divide up things. Some of you, others, it's better money management. Um, thinking positive is great. Things always work out, but try to limit putting yourself in predicaments that 
won't be beneficial to you. Definitely having a positive mind will definitely help in this new moon. In Cancer, a lot of uh, compassion for yourself. Capricorn. This summer's lesson for you guys is really making sure that you have a great foundation. And for a lot of you, it's having a foundation and just focus on the necessities. Aquarius. This is a great time for you to look at what needs to be changed and changed it very slowly. Some of you have to take baby steps and change it. That way it's not recognizable if you need to kind of do things covertly. Others, it's just taking baby steps and not forcing yourself to make a big, big change. Yeah. Um, Pisces, this is a great new moon for you to set um, any intentions that will give you more foundation um, and will be benefit for you and those that you love and care about. But definitely make sure that you're mastering something over the summer because that's going to help you for the rest of the year. Air, Aries, this is a great time for you to again to be a benefit to others and a benefit to yourself. And a great new moon to set uh, intention where there is love, there is connectivity for you, um, being creative, just really enjoying life and enjoying uh, what you do and how you do it. Definitely a great um, new moon for you to really dig deep if you can and like a lot of self-healing. That would be great. That would be wonderful. And if you can focus on that self-love energy, um, the one, the ones that, you know, how am I going to say that? Some of you, that's the word that I was looking for. Oh my God, the way it came in my mind was hilarious. But some of you who are dealing with any kind of love issues, that's not the best. You're going to find more of your strength and that's going to be wonderful for you. Woohoo. Okay. Um, for Taurus, this is a great time again to protect your energy. Make sure that anything that you're doing over the summer, you have that Mars energy. Um, if you want to be helpful to others, it's going to be very um, secretive, and that's for the best. And channel the Uranus energy in a more calm way. It's not going to be easy having um, Uranus and um, Mars, you know, all up in your business like that. But balance out those energies and... and um, use it channel it to um, step outside of the box and give yourself props give yourself credit for um, all that you've done and all that you can do and protect your energy with that Gemini definitely connect to Jupiter is it's there to use to make things easy for everything seventh house um, your marriage your partnerships anything that brings great balance into your life you are very aware of other people's actions and how they are not a good partner or how they're not working well for themselves or for others. So be aware, but focus more on you and your loving relationship and your natural uh, diplomacy, talents, and communication skills. Yes, yes, and yes. We're coming right back to cancer and re reminding us all that the, the strong message here is a lot of self-love, a lot of self-care. That's going to be so powerful for this, for this moon, okay, for this new moon. So I hope everyone will have a wonderful new moon when you see this video. And uh, definitely click like on all the videos. Definitely watch them. They're, you know, sometimes you might start playing a video and you realize, hey, this is an older video and it has the right message you need. The universe works like that. Sometimes it's super timeless. Okay. So um, enjoy the new moon, set some positive new intentions and be blessed. I'll see you all next time. Peace.